is up y'all as you guys can see we are starting this day off today over here at the beach it is that time of the year again as you guys can see we got the forerunner navigating through the trenches of the sand we just had like a slight drizzle but this is like absolutely amazing weather out here it's actually in the freaking 80s right now in delaware it is kind of like a cloudyish day here so we're not getting absolutely toasted by the sun and these are some of the best days i've ever had of fishing days like today man this just makes me happy i have been waiting i mean as you guys know if you follow the channel saltwater is one of my favorite things to do honestly it might be my favorite kind of fishing the weather here in delaware has just been absolutely insane man i'm talking about wind i'm talking about it's been really cold then it gets warm and then it's like super cold and it's windy it's just insane man today i had a pretty nice ish day to get out here so we're gonna take full advantage of it i'm that weird dude right now wearing shoes on the beach look at this water man it's actually like this looks good so yeah it's springtime here the water is starting to warm up a little bit this is really when a lot of cool stuff happens in this salt water in delaware right now in this water behind me from the beach this is the bay this could uh, i mean honestly this could have a lot of stuff in it right now probably top of my list is a big old black drum now, i've only fished for these drum maybe a couple of times ever these things are freaking massive man i'm talking about they can get up to 100 freaking pounds from my understanding the delaware bay here in the springtime they come to spawn and breed these are where the big boys and girls are hiding man i'm pretty sure like this is where you can catch the biggest black drum now i have never caught one from shore which hopefully we're gonna try to do today imagine dude a freaking like 100 pounds like that would be insane i've actually only ever caught one black drum that was on a charter boat two years ago if you guys want to watch that video you can click up here here's actually a picture it, like look how big that thing is man that wasn't even a big one so we'll talk more about them i'll show you guys kind of what i'm doing then we're gonna catch a state record the really cool thing is besides black drum there are so many types of species in here man from skates to giant old like big freaking stingrays bunch of different kinds of sharks maybe we'll catch jaws out of here bluefish kingfish spot croaker i mean it's just like an endless buffet really that's one of the main things like dude i freaking love saltwater man i love multi-species fishing just that thrill of not knowing what's on the end of your line Whew. All right, first things first, we gotta put these dudes in the ground. So these are gonna be what is holding our poles. This is just like a piece of PVC pipe. You could buy these or you could honestly just make them yourself. But uh, yeah, it's kind of like the standard for fishing here in Delaware. Pretty much everybody uses something like this. You kind of just do it a little circle, work around. Bop, bop, bop. All right, kind of cover it up a little bit like that, that. Yeah, that should be good. Number two, this is the big, thick boy right here. I really have yet to find a way to put these in that makes you look cool. That should be a good spot about all right there. All right, so let me show you kind of what we're gonna be doing here on rod number one. So I know I said we're going for drum that's gonna be on the other rod. I just cannot, you know, there's multi-species to be caught. I just kind of want to see what's around. So we're gonna be taking this dude out right here. This is called a spot and kingfish rig. I mean, really that's what they call it, but you can catch a bunch, a bunch of different stuff on this. Now, as always, you can also make this stuff as well. I just don't have these little floaty things. Boom, all right, so what we got kind of going on here, we have a little swivel that goes down to two of these. So this is like a little float. So what this does, you put a uh, weight on the end of this right here. This sits in the water, you put bait on the hooks. As you guys see, there's two floats and they just, uh, it is what it is, you know, they float up and it kind of dangles your bait. There are like so many different kinds of species that will hit this. So we're gonna tie this on this rod. We're gonna cast this one out and then we're gonna we're gonna load up the big boy. This stuff for the bay, this is fish bites, blood worms. This is like a blood worm alternative. I know you guys have seen me use blood worms in previous videos. Just freaking weirdo looking. And you guys actually see me use this in previous videos as well. It's pretty much all I do, boom, just like that, right on these tiny little circle hooks. And I like to use circle hooks too, just in case like I'm not paying super attention. A lot of the times these fish hook themselves here with the circle hooks you don't have to set the hook necessarily so here we go like that especially if you want to release them that's like the way to do it so that is all good on there now i'm just going to put this four ounce bank sinker it's a little bit windy i think this should definitely be good a lot of people keep coming to the beach right now too it's actually like i think it's high tide right now or like really close to high tide now all right blood worms little rig first cast of the day i should probably take my shoes off oh. Boom. And there we go. Oh boy, we got kids in the water next to us now. Dude opened his door and like a million kids popped out. All right, hopefully, yeah, now we're gonna be good. Bluefish, kingfish, spot, croaker, dogfish, skate. I mean, there's so many different things that could bite this. I would really, like, I think my preferred species on this rig is a blowfish. Doing like a little blowfish catch and cook, that would be freaking sick. So I don't know, we'll see what happens with that. I don't even know if like, when blowfish bite, am I going to even be able to tell, man? Next up is the big boy. Now, if you guys haven't seen my uh, black drum video on a charter boat, it was from a while ago, but that's actually, like, it's one of my favorite videos, man. Got a pretty decent-sized one. We brought it home. We cooked it up. But, yeah, as I said, though, that was from a boat. It is definitely a lot easier to fish. Dude, it's so freaking cool when you boat fish for them, too, because you can literally hear them drumming, like, under your boat. Like, it sounds like... 
Like, it, it, it's crazy. All right, so here's what's going on. We have bigger surf reel. We got our braid going down to our four carbon leader. This is like 40-ish pound leader, I'm pretty sure. People ask all the time, I connect those with a double uni knot. That comes down to this big old five ounce pyramid sinker. Hopefully five pounds should hold it. That comes down to a little tactical angler clip. This is pretty much just like a little swivel. I don't have a swivel, but I mean, that, that's gonna do the job. And we got more leader, and then that comes down all the way at the end to a four aught circle hook. Now this is probably not I, I'd probably like a six, seven, eight odd circle hook. But uh, yeah, I do not have that with me. That's just fishing, man. Sometimes you gotta work with what you got. So we have in here, ooh, that's the sauce right there, man. Kind of though, not really. I wish, man, I really, really, really wish I had some live clams like these people had over here where you could just shuck them yourself. That's definitely the best way to do this. You know, fresh is always better. But we have right here. Ah, oh, come on. Ooh. It was like foamy at the top. These uh, are frozen clams. A little bit more unfrozen right now. Oh my gosh. That is, uh, yeah, that is delectable. That thing's not fresh, but that thing is juicy, man. Don't you just want to take a bite out of that? So I fished with these kind of clams before. Uh, they, they will bite them. The only real issue is that these clams do not stay on the hook very long at all. I should, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens with this first one cast out. They just don't stay together very well. So a lot of people who fish for these drum, they like tie it with, uh, I guess, butcher's twine. I'm just gonna, yeah, there we go. Just chopped off a decent amount. We're gonna try to conserve as much of this as we can. Like I do have faith in the clam, but it's just, I don't know, it's kind of wonky. I don't know, we're gonna cast this thing out real quick. All right, clam out. Dude, this could be the one, man. Oh. Boom. So basically this rig's just gonna put that clam right on the bottom. The drum do feed right off the bottom. Oh man, it'd be so cool if I caught one of those. Come on, man. Please, fishing gods. Oh, Ooh, this little pillow back here is kind of nice. So I feel like I feel like I need to say this. I don't know. I mean, this is really my first time fishing the bay this year. I don't know uh, what is really going to happen at all. We could catch eight fish. We could catch zero fish. We could literally catch a state record. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is just a normal day in the life of a Delaware angler. Nothing super crazy, you know. We're just chilling out here. We got the car. We got two rods. We got some clams. We got a dream. I'm not gonna lie, man. This is actually like super relaxing. Before we get too much further into this video, though, I just wanna like I just wanna say this. I appreciate the freaking heck out of you guys for all the support recently. Is that a freaking spider, dude? It's been so crazy these past what is it, three years? Ever since March of 2017 is really when I started to upload to this channel. The consistent amount of overwhelming support. It's just, it, it means so much to me, man. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you to each and every one of you guys. Even if this is your first video, you know, you're seeing. Which I mean, by the way, if you guys are not already, man, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button. If you do enjoy my videos, and if you never want to miss an upload, go down there, hit that notification bell. YouTube's weird, so definitely hit that bell. So that, that's pretty much the only way to let you know. Pretty much the gameplay, what we're going to do, if I have clam on there, I'm going to check it a decent amount of times because that clam pro is probably already off. If nothing really wants those fish bites either, we're going to switch that out. But basically, I mean, these black drum, from my knowledge, they are extremely, extremely unpredictable a lot of people go fishing for them you know in the evening i guess they bite better then but they they swim in and out of this area it's just so unpredictable man people were catching them off this beach earlier along with some other species so cross your fingers man go down there hit that thumbs up button that's a good luck thumbs up button so if you smash that hopefully uh the fishing gods they can hear our voices whoo let's see if my hypothesis is true bro i'm like snagged on something All right, I was stuck. Either I had a horseshoe crab, or I was like stuck on, I don't even know what the freaking heck that was. All right, let's see. We got some clam left on this thing. Absolutely no clam. It really looks like, this whole day looks like it's about to storm. All right, so this is, uh, this is how we're gonna do this thing. This piece is a little sturdier too, I like that. You just gotta tell the clam that you're the boss, you know? Ah, boom. That's actually like, I feel like that might not come off very easy. There are different parts of the clam. Some are, you know, more soft, some are more sturdy. Oh, this part of the clam knows what's up. All right, that was a decent chuck. Do your thing, clam. Any love out here? For the bloodworm fish bites? Uh, it does not feel like anything. 
see here. Any bites, any nibbles at all on the blood room? Literally nothing. Okay. Hmm. Uh, all right. You know, I, I'm going to throw these out. Give it like a little bit more time. I want that blowfish, man. That'd be so sick. Freaking bombed that thing. Now while we're kind of just chilling out here waiting for something to happen, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring out Old Faithful right here. Fun fact, it's actually mandatory if you have a Delaware vehicle and you have the surf fishing license, you have to have a shovel and some other stuff as well. The shovel is key in case you get stuck, but it can also help in uh, some other situations as well as we're about to do right now. Let me see here, we gotta pick a good spot. There we go, there we go. Boom, easy as that. I don't know if you guys can see that too well. That is a sand flea right there. That was, uh, let me wash them off a little bit. Hey buddy, how's it going? So this is one of the best baits to use in all you know types of fishing when it comes to the beach. This is, I mean really, it's a lot of one of the main forages of all these species of fish out here, including black drum. Black drum, these giant old beasts that are in here. They love crustaceans and they love these things. So what I am going to do, that was actually, Way faster than I thought. So we're gonna dig a little bit of these up. And then in a couple minutes, next time we actually uh, bring this clam back in, we're gonna put a clam, we're gonna put some of these dudes on there. It's gonna be like a nice clam flea sandwich. I mean, if I was a drum man, I don't think that I could resist. Oh my God. I'm getting a bit on the freaking clam, dude. Hold on a second. Oh, I'm getting bit on the clam. Dude, is this a freaking drum? I swear, I will literally freak out. So the big thing is you gotta let him eat it. Oh, please. Dude, my heart's racing right now. I feel him. Something's nipping at it. Dang it. I just don't know, like, I don't know. Did it take my clam? I mean, the clam's still there. It's not the super juicy. It's more like the muscular part. So I cut off the top of this water bottle. We have some big old, like, look at those guys. Boom, not sure we could fit two. We got one clam flea sandwich serving up. Oh, I'm gonna try to cast it right back out where it was. The fact that I was even getting hit. Last time I came here, which was like a year ago, I threw this clam around and I didn't even get a hit. Okay, so I just pulled up my fish bites and uh, there's literally nothing, especially on the one there's nothing. I don't think that they just disintegrated, man. Something I think, I don't know. We're gonna try it one more time. Basically, what these little strips do, as you guys can see, it's kind of like almost gauze. When this hits the water, it just releases a scent that these fish, like a lot of these fish go crazy for. All right, one more time. Not gonna lie though, no excuse. It is kind of a little tough to tell what's going on here with the wind and I'm literally, what the frick? What the heck? I'm literally snagged. Oh my gosh. Bro. They're like a freaking shipwreck out there. Just snapped me off, holy crap. Whew. All right, so we've been out here at the beach for a freaking while. We've cast a lot of different things. I am going to bring out the secret weapon over here so right next to our clams we got this bad boy right there i have a really good feeling about this this is some of the best bait you can use for pretty much everything this is some good old slimy fresh bonker look at that right there Ooh. i'm gonna chunk this up i'm gonna put it on one of those four out circle hooks and just kind of let it rest on the bottom this like i said is kind of our secret weapon here today i think that this uh hopefully does something so far i think we've caught way too many fish
Boom, nice little chunk, just like that. Ooh, a little bloody, some intestines hanging out. All right, just hook just like that. Wish I had a bigger hook again, but gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna try not to cast in the same spot that I did earlier. That was not a very good cast. We'll let it go though. I literally feel like I found a shipwreck earlier out there. So I don't know, man. These people next to me to my right though, they have a tiny little puppy. It's like digging in the sand. A Kimbo bunker chunk is now out. I'd be happy with anything that swims at this point, man. It's getting a little breezier, but I think the breeze actually feels really good. I just, uh, I'm ready for something that swims. Just need something to pick it up before all the crabs down there get to it. The horseshoe crabs, freaking current snails, hermit crabs, rip it off. Hey, by the way, I know a lot of you guys are waiting on some Forerunner modifications. They said that we're gonna be doing some cool stuff to this. I just, dude, I think it'd be so sick. I said it before. Imagine having like a full length roof rack so I could just literally oh, stand on top of this thing. I could be big chilling up here, man. I could see like everything. Imagine seeing the blitz coming from down the beach. Is there something on this? Bro, I'm moving this. Do I have something on? What in the heck? Hello? There's something on this. Um. See, this could be, I don't know. At this point, I literally <laughs> do not even know. I don't feel it. This is what I think it is. Oh. Jeez, man. Oh, this is on the bunker. All right, I just want to know what it is. Might be, I <laughs> could be some freaking trash. Oh, arm's starting to burn a little bit. Okay. I came off. Or did it come off? What is going on? Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. Holy crap, dude. Whew, okay, let's freaky go. I caught something from the beach. That swims. All right, let me get a. Been out here for a good while. This is better than nothing. This is actually pretty cool, man. These are uh, like alien fish, pretty much. Look at this dude right here, man. Look at his freaking eyes. Like literally, look, oh gosh. He's not very happy. See his eyes though? It's so weird looking. All right, all right, chill. We're gonna get you out. Uh, the circle hook should've got you. Look at that face. Should've got you in the corner of the mouth. Oh gosh. All right, so a friendly, familiar face. This is a skate. I'm not sure the exact species of skate. This guy, uh, he was digging that bunker chunk. Oh gosh, probably not gonna be able to tell, but along like the back of the tail and throughout the body, they have these spikes on them, which that's really all I can hurt you is the mouth and those little spikes. It's not like any kind of crazy stingray tail, but all right, let's let you go here, buddy. Thank you so much for playing. Get back there, he's flapping on his way. Nice little Delaware Bay butterfly right there. Whew, I, at this point, man, I don't even care. If it swims, I'm, I'm down. A lot of people get frustrated with those things. And I mean, rightfully so, if you spend enough time fishing off the beaches here like oh my gosh what the heck yo they got some the big hook oh what the freak i'm gonna get back out there that lady like their thing is screaming running what do we got here bro that is like prime freaking black drum bait what happened to you buddy if anybody knows uh in the comments below what the heck kind of crab that is that big old claw ah <sighs> 
right, I can just see it now, man. Nice big old roof rack. As I said, we're gonna tint the windows some more. I have really big ideas. Again, if you guys have any suggestions for this beast uh, that I should do in the future, let me know. I just feel like it looks so cool in the sand. The annoying thing I will say though about driving onto the beach is that I don't have a hose in my apartment complex, so I have to go to like a, what do you call it, like a self car wash, and then I get the hose thing and it swings around and I spray everywhere. We've been getting rain on quite a bit as well. The sun's kind of coming out. I don't know, it's cloudy over there. It's cloudy. I don't know what's going on, but I have to uh, inflate these bad boys right here. And I can see already we have a few flies flying in there. Man, that is like one of the only things about Delaware beaches. It doesn't happen on like the public beaches, but when you drive onto the beaches, especially if there's any wind that's blowing from the land, like from the west, these flies, man, are just freaking insane. They will swarm you, they will bite you. So we gotta make sure to get all of those out of there. All right, I just got done editing this. That was actually a really, really fun day, despite only catching that one skate. If you guys want to see me go back, do some more beach fishing, do some more saltwater fishing, definitely let me know in the comments below. I mean, that's just how it is, man. You guys know if you fish saltwater or the beach, it's a big ocean. The fish are not always there. And you know, even if they are there, maybe they won't always bite. I don't know, it's always a guessing game. You really just gotta put the time in. I give a lot of credit to saltwater anglers who fish from the shore. But yeah, as I said, I had a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to go down and hit that thumbs up button. If you do enjoy my videos, we are not already, hit that subscribe button. As always, man, thank you guys so much for all the support. All I gotta say is, let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.